Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Two uh, supplementary uh, questions for our Minister. I think first on the nutritional values uh, aspect of it, has the government or ministry conducted any studies on the percentage of food that actually meets the um, nutritional guidelines and adherence uh, with the HPB's requirements? I think second, in terms of the financial sustainability concerns by individual stallholders, some schools have already entered into a catering model given economies of scale by such operators and it's also easier by the school management committee to monitor the nutritional values of the meals. So in light of this, would the minister consider reviewing the current decentralised canteen management model and what are MOE's concerns about further scaling this up to other schools given that there's already this um, central kitchen model which minister mentioned just now? Thank you. Minister Chan. Mr Speaker, sir, on the first supplementary questions, MOE works with HBB to regularly review the quality of the food provided by the canteen operators. Where they are found to be wanting, we will immediately uh, review the situation with the canteen operators and take remedial action. On the second question, as to the scale and the speed of the scaling up of the central delivery model, it will very much depend on the circumstances of the various schools as well. Different schools have different needs and we will make the necessary transitions according to the different needs of the schools. Ms. Her. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I would like to address um, the, a couple of uh, points on, uh, in my SQs. The first relate to vending machines. Um, I think I refer to the Straits Times article that was published recently where they referred to some schools having to resort to using vending machines to provide meals for students. So I would like to, to ask the Minister about uh, the view of MOE about the desirability of using vending machines and whether the Minister would agree that uh, having to resort to vending machines is an indication that the current, there's, there, there should be concerns about the sustainability of the current model of providing food for, uh, in schools. And secondly, I think I would like to press a little bit more on, this, uh, on the nutritional value of food. Um, just to ask, ask you about whether MOE has any program or plans to get input uh, from professional nutritionists to better understanding the needs of our students, particularly those from lower uh, uh, SES uh, uh, backgrounds, um, to make sure that food is tasty and culturally appropriate. Uh, after all, you know, this is... Um, an opportunity to invest in the health of our future generations, both of phys physical health and also for mental health. Thank you. Minister. Mr. Speaker, sir, the use of vending machine is one out of many options that we employ to provide options for both food and drinks for our schools. So, of course, there must be a reason why we have used vending machines for certain schools. Most of the vending machines are for drinks so that we can reduce the manpower required to serve in our canteens and we can have the rest of the manpower available to have hot meals for our students. But as I said before, we will explore a plethora of options. This include the conventional options of having store operators provide uh, cooked meals on, the, on site itself. It can include vending machines, but most of the vending machines are for snacks and for drinks. And then there will also be options of a central kitchen delivery model. So we will use all models to provide uh, various options for the different schools according to their different needs. On the second uh, question, actually the best nutritionists that we can get are the people from HPB and they are regularly working with MOE to, assert, to make sure that our students get healthy and nutritional meals throughout, the, throughout their time in the school. 